you and Sample, let's talk about organization. They've been changing for a long time now and they are going to change again. Uh, how and why? Well, I think the, the, the scale of some of our big multinational corporations is just becoming untenable and they are becoming inefficient in themselves, quite apart from anything else that's happening on the internet. And you can see that the entrepreneurial small company startup world is much more easily able to adapt to things like the financial crisis and the other pressures on companies that we're seeing at the moment. So I think it has to be smaller, more networked, uh, more agile companies than the big monolithic things we see at the moment. And um, not all organizations are changing, but also people and the way they interact with organization, uh, they, the way they act on the market. Uh, what has changed it or what is going to be? Well, I think a lot of us get excited at the prospect that the internet gives us to find our voice and say what we think and become more actively engaged in living our lives. But people find that difficult in the workplace because they've been conditioned not to think, not to say what they think. And it feels risky to, to engage in those kind of conversations in public. So I think if we're going to get the exciting, more fluid, responsive organizations we need, we need to get people being more confident at engaging in the networks that will allow us to let that happen. Internet has changed the way organization works, the way the people interact with the organization, but we're still too young in this. We have a lot to learn. And I think people consistently underestimate the timescales involved because these are actually quite big changes. There are profound changes in how people see the world and their part in it. And that doesn't change overnight. And uh, institutions don't change overnight either. So I think we're talking 50, 100 years before we see the full consequences of, of the internet.